Bonjour, ça va? Bienvenue à Castleno. Hello, everyone. It's the Farm Sim Guy here. We are looking today at a really nice map. Absolutely beautiful. This is um, this is called Castleno. It is from the French modders MA7, and they have done a fantastic job of this map. This is based in the Dordogne region of France, down in the uh, southwest corner uh, of the country. It's a very farming oriented part of the country and there's some lovely little touches on this map. I have to say, initial impressions when I first saw it, it has that feel of the Italia map to it. It's got that level of detail, that level of quality, loads and loads of custom buildings and it is beautifully, beautifully put together. So um, we're going to have a nice look around this. Um, there's some lovely new crops and different crops in it as well. We are currently in the castle, uh, which is the start point when you spawn your first game. So we can head down here into the village, which is below us, and we can start to have a look round. But of course, with every map tour, it's always good to start with a look at the map and see what's what there. So let's jump in. Let's have a look at that. So there's your PDA. As you can see, um, a huge amount of fields there. This is a standard size map. This is a two kilometer by two kilometer map. So some of these fields will be very small. I get the feeling this is a small to medium vehicle type of map. Um, lots of windy roads, uh, lots of undulations. So uh, it'll make things quite interesting. You can see in the river there in the middle as well, a barge moving along. So you treat that the same as you would the train, but you can sell your product. Uh, actually, it goes to Hope Bay you're on, so um, linking in with other maps nicely there. Uh, but yes, you can load that up, you can rent it, um, and you can uh, take it around the map. There is a train on the map as well, a lovely custom train, again, in keeping with um, the French vibe of this. And uh, just in general, uh, the landscape, the scenery, the way it looks is beautiful. So very quickly then, we have got 107 fields in total. Our biggest one clearly... Uh, is number two up here or is it uh, number two is 6.7 hectares and nicely priced actually hundred ninety seven thousand dollars I think 13 might be the only one that gives it a run for its money uh, and it is slightly smaller 13 um, so you can see those but then some very small fields as well down in this bottom corner 76 81 63 there looks very small probably one of our smallest there isn't it um, there we go, 13,000. But there are, in addition to that, 210 plots in total. So you can see lots of trees around here. So you can buy a lot of these and do forestry. And we've also got these interesting things here with dots on. Uh, we'll come to those in a little while, but we have got some custom crops in here as well, as well as alfalfa, which is a standard crop you see on a few maps now. We have got a whole different economy um, and a different crop um, to use with that as well, which I really like. And again, appropriate to this area of France. So great to see. So um, we're in the town here, as you can see, just here. Uh, it has got a precision farming uh, custom soil map as well. I've taken the liberty of uncovering all of that. Uh, but again, nicely done. Just, you know, down by the river, you've got more sandy uh, ground. And, and then as you move higher up into the hills and away from the uh, the river, you start to move into silty clays and stuff like that. So I, I like that. It's been it's been well thought through. Uh, very nice touch. There are only two farms, one on each side of the river, one here, which we'll go and have a look at in a little while, and another one over here. Um, but lots and lots to do here. I think we've got um, 15 productions in total, uh, and some of those are custom. We've got custom productions as well in terms of uh, what they produce. Um, we've got two cooperatives you can sell at, and a thing called a Kuma as well, a C-U-M-A, which I believe in French is a, a, a cooperative using agricultural materials, a, a, a cooperative's de utilisation de material agricole. Um, that's the abbreviation of that. So uh, similar to your cooperatives elsewhere in the world. So... Uh, this is us leaving the castle now and entering the village area. Uh, lots of traffic going around as well. The tourists love it here, um, as you can see. And why not? Beautifully, beautifully done. Even postcards here you can send home and things like that. Um, really nicely laid out. Steep roads. It's glorious. And then looking up there, the undulations here are huge. Now... Um, there is a production here as well, which we'll go and have a look at. 
So there we go, the Laterie du Perigord, I believe here, they produce uh, yoghurt. Now again, moving further down, you get an idea for how much effort has gone into making the custom buildings and textures on this map. It really is glorious. Um, there's your remote point for your dairy there, but this is really, really nicely finished. The redraw distance on the trees and things like that is beautifully done as well. Um, it just is a very very immersive map and you know what i've said this many times before on my map tours i have to feel a map i have to get excited about it because it, it looks and feels real and, and looks like you could be in that part of the world and this absolutely does that you know in spades this is so good now before we go too much further i'm going to jump away from the town down here and i'm going to jump up to the starter farm for one very good reason, I want to show you some of the extra crops in this and the way the productions are combined with them, which is very, very nice. So, there we are. There is the uh, farm. Again, beautiful, beautiful custom buildings everywhere you look. Um, come off the road here. Look at how steep the hills are as well. And again, this beautiful, beautiful um, bridge over the river here. Stunning stuff. We'll go up and have a look at that in a little bit. Uh, but look at this. Absolutely wonderful. So, um, doors open and things like that. So again, this is where you feed your chickens. And again, where you purchase your chickens. And go through here. Look at these beautiful doors as well. Uh, out here. Purchase your herbicide here for your sprayer. But this is the bit I want to show you. This is cheese production. And we'll go in here and pop this open. This is very... In keeping with this area of, of France as well, a lot of farms produce their own cheese uh, and products as well. So having all of these sitting here is lovely. Um, but, let's try and get away from this noise actually for a second. If I go back to the map for a second, we'll explain what these little dots are down here. And they are, let's jump over to here. There are four different types of nut. Hazelnut, nut in general, which looks like a walnut based on the icon. Chestnuts, um, and a different type of chestnut. Um, even the icons look great in keeping with the rest of the uh, original icons. And we've got alfalfa down there as well as an extra crop. So we'll go down and have a look at some of these, but they are included in some of the productions now. So for example, cheese there that you just saw on the farm, if we go down to the production for cheese, you can see there that you require nuts to go into the cheese. Um, and again, you know, not uncommon. You do get quite nutty cheeses. So uh, that's really exciting to see them using that. Um, again, up here as well in the cereal factory, they require nuts for the production of cereal. So they've tweaked some of the uh, standard productions and also added a few others like cruzette wine there as well. So you can produce your wine. There are a couple of uh, required mods. One is this trailer here. Uh, the Le Bouche trailer. Um, I'm not sure what or why, but uh, it's a very nice trailer. Uh, and the other is the additional trees, the more trees mod as well. But it will prompt you when you load the map up uh, to install those if you haven't got them. And if you have got them, just make sure that they are switched on. As far as I can tell as well, all trailers do take the new crops straight away they have already been added so if you scroll along to hit the end here you can see alfalfa is there and the four different nut types so you should be able to add nuts to any of these trailers now we have come down to the orchards i guess you would call them where the different types of nuts are growing um you can see very similarly done to um other orchards that we've seen and they have added in the tools section, the required mods to make sure that you can harvest this. So they're using the umbrella tools here, uh, which grab onto the tree and shake them. And we are going to harvest these nuts here. We are going to use a little Valtra with a quickie front loader on it. And we will go into the shop and we will go up to here and you'll see this additional point, but you can purchase the appropriate picker for whichever crop of nuts that you want to go. We, I think we've gone with this standard one here, so we can purchase this. 
There we go. And that's what it looks like. We'll jump in here. We'll connect this up. There we go. Let's just get things a little bit more organised. Now what you do is you roll up to the tree. You drive around it like so. I have to do a little bit of movement to make sure that you get it aligned properly. Let's give that a go, shall we? Now you press X to unfold it. Now if your prop is ready, you turn this on and it should shake the tree until the nuts land in it. Yes, there we go. We're 5% in now. I'm not sure if that's the tree empty. It looks like the tree is emptied, actually. i jump out here. You can see the nuts have come off the tree compared to here, where they are still on. So you don't get a huge harvest off each uh, tree. But you can then turn that off. Uh, you can close it again. You can leave it open if you want to. I'm not sure what the exact way of doing it is in real life, but... Uh, Roll up to your next tree, like so. Open up the umbrella. Power things on again. Like I said, 155 kilograms now. There you go, 10%. Turn it off again. And you continue to go around until you've got a full load in your uh, harvester at the front there. Let's just do one more. And then I'll show you how to unload it as well. Get it lined up. I'm going to do this with this keyboard and mouse, never easy. There we go. Open, shake things up. There we go, 226 kilos, 14%. So, see, you get between uh, 4 and 6% per tree of uh, the full load of this. Right, let's turn that off. Close that. Now, what we're going to do here is just raise this up high. You should get a trigger when you get close enough. You can. This is the trailer that uh, they include as one of the required mods. But like I said, it does work with any trailer. And there you go. It's saying to you, do you want to unload? So now I'll press I there. It opens the bottom of the hopper and fills it up. And there we go. So, quite time consuming. Quite uh, labour intensive, but we've managed to get 1% of the trailer filled with nuts. So, I like it. Just a nice and different way of doing things. But, enough bouncing around and talking about things indiscriminately. We're going to do a little bit of a tour of the map now. We are going to, let's start in this top corner and try and go as clockwise around the map as is humanly possible, which is going to be hard because there's nowhere to cross over at the top here. But we'll maybe work our way down this side, um, do a loop, full loop, and then we'll go over to this side and do the same again. So let's start up here, shall we? So we're going to start up here at the Kuma, at the top of the map. Uh, we've got a mechanics in here, and we have got uh, cell points up here. Lots and lots of cell points, everything from potatoes to all of those that you can see over there. And let's just run over and see what those are, actually. There you go, all the different grains can be sold here, which is nice. There you go, canola I'm guessing. Over here. Corn, we had wheat and barley and the ones over the other side. So nicely done, again, all custom buildings. Beautiful. And you've got the rocks kind of at the top of the map here, with probably the highest point of the map here. So we can head down again, these little details. Like this old... I'm guessing an old well or something there. Very nice. Got your waybridge here. You've got pallets and stuff hanging about. Beautiful. Right. Um, there's the potatoes as well in there. So I will leave the mini map down there in the bottom corner so you can get a feel for where we are. We may jump back to the uh, mini map every now and again and just make sure we've got our bearings. But there we go. As we run down here. Nice road textures as well. You've got off-road uh, paths there as well, as you can see on the map, which take you down. I'm not going to cover everything, because if you like this map, you're going to want to go and have a, a little bit of a tour around yourself. So 
we'll just give you a feel for the general vibe of the map, which is beautiful. Let's go around here. Narrow roads as well. Loads of trees. So many trees. Uh, but this heads us off up to the top of the map and out there. So again, beautifully well hidden. Um, it doesn't feel like you fall off the edge of the map. The landscaping is done incredibly, incredibly well. So, let's head back this way. I'm going to try and get over to the bridge over there if we can. But again, I think this is our high point of the map. In fact, we just spotted something I should show as well. There are some collectibles on this map. Ten of them in total. There is one up there. And apparently when you cover uncover all ten, you discover the secrets of the castle. Um, I'm not going to say any more than that. But there we go. Right. Let's get on with the tour. So as we head up here, you can see the size of some of these fields. This is field 53 here. If we just jump back to the map, actually. You can see the size of 53. So I would say that's not a million miles off. One of the average size There's a lot of fields. Give or take roughly that size. So again, you get a feel for it there. They're not big fields. This is a lot of small fields. Um, and like I said at the start, I think it feels like a small to medium equipment map. Uh, but we're climbing up here over the top. You can start to look down the valley there. There is one of the farms. And there is that beautiful bridge, which I think will drop us down to it. Yes, we drop down to it now. So, let's go around here, and we'll take us back to the farm we've already been at, the starter farm. If you start in uh, new farmer mode, that is the farm you get over there, which is beautiful. Now... I know a lot of people um, sometimes get frustrated with maps where you can't customise them and delete buildings and stuff. I just don't think this is one of those maps. It's like the Italian map. It's been built very specifically in a very specific way. Um, and I think they want to they want to keep the essence of what they've done, the modders, um, as it is. So um, sometimes you just have to respect that. I totally get it sometimes. People want to build their own farms and things like that. But I do think this is one of those maps where... So much care and attention has been put into how the buildings are laid out and how the farms are laid out um, that uh, they don't want people to do that, which, you know, I'm okay with. I'm okay with. So there we go. There is the farm. Drive through here. See all the machinery in there. You do get a lot of machineries in new farmer mode. That is very impressive. And then down here to where we were at the start, where our little uh, cheese production is and the rest of the machinery as well. We'll roll out of here. Back out onto the road. Um, in fact, should we go over and hit? Look at those big silage pits as well. Uh, big cattle yard here as well. Uh, lovely pastures as well, just fitting into the valley as well. There's no square box uh, pastures for animals here, which... I'm delighted. I love them when they fit into the map and flow with the map. So beautifully done. Another large uh, slurry point there as well. So very nicely done. Ferme de Embalé. There you go. That's your farm. So again, heading down here, we're kind of dropping down into the valley a bit here. Lovely grasslands here as well. We'll roll down a little bit further. Nice uh, little lake there. Again, more beautiful custom buildings. Absolutely tremendous. Again, yeah, these fields are starting to get a little bit bigger as we get down here. But again, you can see dirt roads off to meet up with some of those other fields further down. We'll head along here, these rather windy roads. But there we go. Things like that rock there, beautiful. The way the arm goes done, very nice indeed. Again, I'm taken with this texture of the road as well with the cracks in it. It's really nicely done. Let's go around here. More rocks, more landscaping, beautiful landscaping. Just the changes in elevation, the contours, the logs lying by the side of the road. Look how dense the trees are as well, but it doesn't seem to be having a huge impact or any impact 
uh, on frame rate the performance is phenomenal uh, again another river just there oh river a lake just there and we are down now by the river we'll roll down here so where your, some of your productions are just pulled out in front of a car there sorry um, so there is a turning just down here we'll go and have a look at some of these again every single I've yet to see a building that isn't custom made on this I think everything has been made custom which is fantastic so let's roll around here this is where you can load up your barge and ship stuff down the river so you've got load points you've got unload points let's just jump out here you can uh, rent the train so to speak turn it on there rent train for 500 pound per hour so we're going to do that and it says that train is going to arrive soon 865 so it's moving quite quickly but this isn't a train this is your barge that we talked about before not sure which direction it comes from either but we shall wait for it so here we are there is our barge just rolling into space here it does move quite slowly but I'm sure you can fit a considerable amount of stuff onto this and ship it off to the likes of Hope Bay on if you want to uh, and it does show up as a sell point if you use the barge so um, definitely worth looking at as an option for selling your stuff over the other side there is the railway line as well at some point we'll sure we'll see the train but um, here is the barge again custom built grain barge ready to take your stuff wherever you need it to go right as we head out of here the barge is parked up but there is the train as well like I said a custom French train so again not the standard train and it looks like we'll be able to load up and use that as well I'm not sure if that is cosmetic or is actually usable as well we shall find out when we get further down on the map but let's head up here for now let's head a little bit further down the road towards the main town but even just here driving along glorious glorious scenery I am really taken with this map it's beautiful so here we are rolling into the town the village whatever we want to call it look we've got leisure boats in the water there another lovely bridge over the water but as we drive into here look at the amount of people walking about it's a bustling little town signposts lots of cars lots of cars parked up but really they've really managed to kind of bring this to life lovely building just the buildings everywhere the effort that's gone into this is is amazing um lots and lots of uh, productions here as well and the nice touches where you've got the shop at the front there for example and the sell point i think that's actually the boulangerie so rather than just looking on the map to see it we can just walk into here look at this fantastic so there's all your breads cakes all the good stuff in here now under it what else they sell did they sell the cheese in here as well so there we go for the bread and the cakes i was wondering if they used the nuts in any way uh, in any of the recipes or they added any other recipes but they don't it's all your standard stuff but I mean it doesn't get more French than this if you've ever been to France and you've ever gone out for bread in the morning fresh bread this is this is about as real as it gets it's so good I'm loving this wow I'm also now hungry but look at the town as well it just is your small rural French town it's so good it is so good again here we've got a little ice cream parlor or something here I'm looking on the map at the dots I'm guessing we've got uh, delivery points and unload points and sell points around the back here as well there's a whole row of them here so I'm guessing we've got unload we do look at this I like this as well where they've put the icons on the ground so that's where you sell your clothes that's where you sell your furniture uh, grape juice here and then all the things that you need for the bakery as well. Fantastic. 
Really nicely done. Right, let's go from here. Let's run just quickly up here and have a look in this corner. Uh, and then I think we've probably covered this side. We'll probably... Yeah, we'll go and have a look at the sawmill as well. Uh, before we cross the river here at the bottom bridge. I'm loving the signposts and things like that. So I think we almost double back on ourselves just here. Follow these cars. For those... The gingham tablecloths. So good. So good. The attention to detail is... Uh, is mind-boggling. If you look up there, there's the castle where we started. So again, the undulations and the rises here, just crazy. Um, we've got something else there as well. We're going to check what that is. Okay, that's the carpenter. So that's where you uh, take your wood and convert it from the sawmill. You make planks and things like that, and you bring them down to here to make other items like chairs and tables and things like that. So let's head up here. So here you go, some vineyards. Dordogne um, does grow wine, I believe, along with everything else. So some lovely vineyards here. And then up further here, we've got more orchards uh, with more of the new nut crop as well. Just go around here. Have a look at these uh, areas. Look at this. This is fantastic. There you go. More buildings up on the hill there, looking really, really nice parking area and things like that buildings down here there's just so much to discover so much to discover I almost don't want to spoil it by showing you everything because there's just everywhere you turn there's these beautiful buildings and the way they're lined out this what is this A museum this is ah this is your winery I think yeah so interestingly, I've just bought all of this surrounding area with the map and it has triggered a purchase point, which wasn't there before. So you can buy. It's an oil production plant. And look, it uses all four of the nuts to create nut oils, chestnut cream, chestnut flour and walnut oil as well. So you can really go to town with those new crops and buy them. Interestingly, though, it didn't show up until I bought the land. That is um, different to some of the other productions, so I'm glad I, uh, glad I didn't miss that. That's, uh, that's nice. So you unload the nuts into here, and off they go. Fantastic. I'm glad I checked this one. Right, let's head out from here. Let's go back down to the road, and then we will, we will drive up to the sawmill over here. So here we go. We can take uh, a detour up to the castle here as well, it was signposted there, we're not going to go there, we are going to do a turn around here, we're going to follow the road, and we are going to head to the sawmills again, just wanted to uh, to show you these beautifully roads and the way they're laid out, I don't think the time and effort that's gone into this map, it's phenomenal, let me go another beautiful house there, and you kind of go over the crest of this hill and it just, I mean this is about as rural French, it's so authentic so realistic it's incredible I, I mean I'm, I'm I'm very conscious I'm coming across uh, with all these superlatives um, but I'm, I'm really kind of gobsmacked at how beautiful this is, it is fantastic obviously, my opinion you may have a different one but uh it's really hard to not get excited about something like this. The effort that's gone into this and the attention to detail really is fantastic. What is that noise? It's like a bear. But there's our sawmill. Very big sawmill here. Lots of space for turning bigger vehicles around. If you can get them up the roads, up here. There's your wood chip cell point there. Got two productions here as well. Uh, we have got uh, carpentry and the sawmill so once you've done the stuff in the sawmill you can move it over to the carpentry department as well I've just worked out that's a saw I thought it was a cow in pain <laughs> right so let's buy this because carpentry will tell us um, what specifically this makes so there we go we make wood frames here that's interesting I wonder what they're used for 
there we go. I've just jumped into the uh, sell points. Wood frames just looks like it's an output that you can create and sell. And there we go. We've got a sell point for that as well. Looks quite lucrative though. Could be worth some money that. Right, here's where we are at the moment. We're going to head back down that road and we're going to head back to the town and then we'll cross the bridge and we'll take a look at the eastern side of the map on the other side of the river and uh, see where we go from there. Here we are then, arriving back in Castle No. I'll just spin around here. Big car park over there as well. Must get a lot of tourists in the summer. It would not surprise me. Beautiful town like this. And then, here we are, over the river. Over the bridge. Now, I did want to stop just here because I saw that you, there was a sign for the train. So I want to make sure that you can uh, potentially rent the train as well. As the barge. Let's just turn down here, this single track road. This is actually a road that runs down the side of the river as well, so... There we go. There's just an exclamation mark on the track. Right, you can rent the train. For a thousand pounds an hour. So I'm guessing we'll just wait for it and we'll um, take a little ride on it because I want to see it up close. It did look like a really nice model. Here it comes. Oh, mind out, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There we go. Beautiful French train there, SNCF on the side. The French Rail Network. Uh, and this does hold a load of grain carts, so I'm just intrigued as to where this goes. So there we go, we're in it. That's good. I'm guessing if we head down here, I want to go off map because um, I'll put the brakes on here actually. Or it'll. Oh, there we go, I knew it. I lost it, but yes, it goes to Hope Bay on, so that means you can load that up with uh, a whole heap of um, crops. And if the price is right in Hope Bay on, that's the place to sell them. Right back in the car, that did not go exactly how I wanted it to, but still, all good. <laughs> we'll uh, head up here again. Small, small fields next to. Uh, production plants and stuff like that. This is the sugar beet plant, the sugar factory, the Batari factory, so you can uh, get all your different sugar products done there, usually with the... Uh, in fact, let's just jump in and I'll show you, because I do own it. There we go. Sugar beet sugar, sugar cut sugar, and sugar cane sugar. You've got an option for all three there, depending on what crop you want to harvest. Right, around here again. Look at these houses. Swimming pool. Somebody rather wealthy lives there, I think. Swiss flag? Interesting. So there we go. On this side of the map, then, you've got a little bit... It's a little bit flatter, a little bit more open, slightly bigger fields. And we'll roll around to here. Some interesting buildings as well. There you go. Um, more farms and open areas we will actually drive around there just now and have a look at that so this is your logistics sell point again just an additional sell point if you don't want to sell the things in town you can sell them here you can just reverse these up with an articulated lorry and sell them here again what a great custom building that is this is our dealership Renault Agriculture. Guessing our spawn point for our vehicles will be down here as well. And there is the mechanic. So, again, custom buildings, so good. So good. This map, this map is special. It is. Right, let's head out here. Again, you get you a feel for this flatter side of the map less hills yes there are some stuff in the distance but a little flatter a little bit easier to handle slightly bigger machinery on this side um, and then in here this looks like 
one of the BS. This is one of the big uh, sell points, buy points. Looks like you can purchase your fertilizer and things here as well. So just a big cooperative where you can pick everything up. Look at the building though. Look, it even has the uh, icons above the doors as well as to what you can sell. That's really nicely done. Lovely. I say Le Coujard. Yep, there you go. There's other sell points. Flour. Your oils can be sold here. You can purchase that as well. This feels very industrial. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Right, I'm going to have to jump back to the map and get my bearings here. I'm a little bit lost. Okay, so we've come straight up. Oh, in fact, we, we went around this narrow road here. But we've driven back down here, so there's your shops and things like that. We're going to go up here, gas station here. Uh, the second farm is here. And this looks like our oh, the pasture for cows there. Um, there will be a cow or an animal livestock dealer somewhere up here as well, I'm guessing. Here we go. Back up the road. More beautiful houses. Just the signposts, the stop signs, everything. Just... They've nailed this. Absolutely. Brilliant. Right, now. Let me see if I can get my bearings. There's another turning up here. I think this is the one we'll go for. Looks like there's two entrances into the farm then. Let's go up this one. Again, we've got more... Uh, more blue dots on the map there, which suggests there's uh, more productions or sell points. Let's go up here. I'm guessing this is a little bit smaller a farm than the last one. If you remember, the last one was quite large, but um, we're kind of dotted in around. It's almost a little, um, another little village here, isn't it? So yeah, this is um, definitely a smaller farm, but equally as lovely. We've got pigs here. Look at them in there. I'm guessing it looks like you open the door and drive in to uh, feed them and give them water. Bales in there. There's your vehicles. Looks like a uh, silo there. Yeah, there's your uh, trap in the ground. And there you load back up from that. And then out here, there is not a lot of space. This would be a nice tight uh, yard to play with. Could be quite good fun, but then opens out onto these lovely big fields. This is great. All right, we'll just roll down here, back down here. I just want to check out what these uh, cell points are. Oh, which just wandered over here. This is actually your livestock dealer. There you go. So bale cell point here. And your animals over here. So you can just head down with your trailer and purchase whatever you need. Lovely. We'll head up here now. This is your other cooperative where you can sell your crops. Again, very nicely done. It's just tremendous how well the buildings have been designed to fit into the map. Beautiful. And then up here is one last cell point. So just having consulted with the, the actual cell points, this is where you sell your slurry, your manure. You can sell fertilizer as well here if you want to, if you've uh, made it. But yes, uh, slurry and manure cell point, should you ever need it. Right. Um, we are right at the top of the map. In fact, let me stop and show you. Um, there we are. We're going to head all the way back down here. I think we've pretty much seen everything now, other than the quarry down here, which is where we'll finish things off. But we'll drive down here, have a look at this, and then uh, we will be covered. I think we've covered most of the main areas off there. Obviously, there's lots of land, so we'll do a little bit of a flyover and a little bit of a montage at the end so you can get a bit of a feel for the areas and the, and the, the fields and things that we haven't seen specifically but i think i've covered off most of the main if, if not all of the main production points so um let's do that we'll see you there so here we are we're heading back to castle no um over the bridge into the village and then we need to hang a left 
as we come through here. Is it here? Can we go through here? Is that the car park? That's the car park. Let's just follow the road round here. Okay, so here we go. Here's the entrance. There's the edge of the map again. So we'll just roll around here. Again, tight if you have a truck. Not getting out of here very easily with a uh, with a large truck. So bear that in mind. But look at this! Wow. Here, and it looks like this is our lime fill point. Not sure what else is here. I think you can actually drop rocks off here and get them crushed and produce your own lime as well. So if you're taking stones off your field, yes, you can tip them here and actually get your own lime produced. So it's not just a buy point. It is, in fact, a production point. Look at that. Actually got vehicles working up there as well in the quarry. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, folks, there you go. That is Castle No from the guys at MA7 Modding. This is... This is a special map. This is right up there with the one of the very best in FS22 in terms of just attention to detail, quality, the time they've taken to build all of these buildings. Just, I'm I'm so impressed with this map. Uh, like I said, it's on a par there with the Italian map, which is in a league of its own. So um, for them to even be able to produce something on a par with that is hugely admirable. This is fantastic. It might not be for everybody. I get that small fields small vehicles very european style of farming um so obviously i get that it's not everybody's cup of tea but you just have to marvel and be impressed at the quality of it if nothing else even if you don't play it it's just you know a marvel of a map and again just shows you what can be achieved um when you put your mind to it this is beautiful so this is castle node from ma7 they have their own website which I will link in the description so you can go and download this yourself. Do you unfortunately use share mods to let you download, so just be very careful when you download it, you don't click on any of the horrible adverts. My advice would be to make sure you've got your ad blocker turned on when you download. So for me, for now, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you so much for watching, and definitely go check this one out. Take care. Bye for now.